It is Wednesday, my dudes. And today, probably gonna be a short run as there are, you know, historic thunderstorms on the way. So I'm just trying to sneak in three, maybe four miles before I get caught in a hurricane or a tornado or a blizzard or whatever's coming our way. It's starting to rain and I'm about 1.2 miles into my run, which is less than ideal. How far do I push it is the question. The stop sign. When it comes to cars blowing stop signs, I feel like Peyton Manning. Like I can read the defense. I can just tell by a car's body language whether they're gonna hit a stop sign or blow through it. Omaha, Omaha! All right, I'm gonna make it a mile and a half. This is why I like the Apple Watch, because if I do get caught in a tornado, I can call my wife and she can pick me up. All right, the rain has stopped, so I might just try to tack on a little extra. I don't know, try to get four miles in today, but I don't know, chaotic. I just feel out of sorts. The birds are going crazy. Let's see if this truck stops. Chaos. <laughs> I don't know. The highway's really loud. Weird day. Not a relaxing run. Sometimes you go for a run, it just kind of scrambles you. So anyway, that'll probably be it for today. I'll see you the next time. Oh, badly time. Ugh. Good morning, happy Thursday. It is Thursday <laughs> and I'm very excited. Today is opening day, downtown Detroit. So it's a very festive, happy day. Apparently opening day for the, the Tigers baseball, Major League Baseball. Apparently Detroit has like the third biggest opening day in, in the MLB, which I, I don't really know why, but it's a huge deal here. So I am going to run downtown Detroit. I'm gonna swing by Comerica Park. Maybe go buy some of the tailgates, see what's going on. It's early enough where maybe it's not gonna be quite as messy <laughs> as it will later, but we'll see. It's actually like really calm downtown right now. There it is, the old park. See that, gate's open. <laughs> Should I go in? <laughs> Detroit Athletic Club, that's the, that's the exclusive party. You're not getting into that unless you're somebody. So you used to be able to look through this fence. They put up this like metal mesh thing. You can't really see the field as well, but oh, the green grass of a baseball stadium, beautiful. All right, now we're getting into the action. <laughs> over there. Shot for the storm chaser. Oh, it's a nice day so far. Turn around. Go blue. Look at that. What a sight. Grand Circus Park. Tents going up. Great day. Beautiful day so far. Trail running downtown Detroit. Who would have thought? made it to Hart Plaza. Woo! Running way too fast. It's 
it's okay. <laughs> 720 pace, not great. It's supposed to be an easy day. I don't want to post it here because I don't want to get a copyright strike, but look up on YouTube after you're done watching this, of course, Ernie Harwell's Voice of the Turtle. Just thinking about that as the sun is rising, the birds are chirping, opening day. Gotta go get the fish. <laughs> There's fish over there. <laughs> All right, let's do a little, little climbing workout on the popular berm. What a view. <laughs> Trying to get like a nice peaceful shot and there's a diesel truck just <laughs> revving in the background. <laughs> it's all right, still peaceful. So I typically run out and back on all my runs because I don't have to think about the distance. But today, since I like went all over downtown Detroit, I'm trying to like calculate in my head, okay, I hit this point at this part, I need to do the math to figure out when to turn around to make it an even six miles. I cannot do math when I'm running, which is why I like out and back, no thinking. Cause I don't, I, I, I honestly, bleh, I honestly don't know how far I should have gone here. We'll find out when I get back to where I started if I have to tack on extra. Okay, this time I'm gonna go around the popular berm, not over it. Yep, I turned around too early. This is what happens when you don't go out and back. You mess up your distance. So now I'm gonna have to find a way to tack on about I can't even do the math, like about 0.3 miles. <sighs> math. Oh, nice stop. All right, heading back, wrapping up my run today. Thanks for coming with me. Honestly, not as popping as I thought it was gonna be. Like people were just kind of setting up a little groggy. I don't know, a little more tame crowd this year. Anyway, that'll be the video for today. Just about to hit six miles. So I will see you on the next one. Good morning, it's Friday. April 7th, so yesterday's video, I spoke very positively about opening day. Let me tell you, my tune changed a little bit leaving downtown after work because man, what a mess. What an awful mess. The people downtown trashing the city, just throwing up on the sidewalks. Those are not baseball fans. That's not what I love about opening day. Anyway, six miles, easy run today. I got a long run tomorrow, so I'm trying to save my strength as much as I can. All right, run is done. Now it's time for a coffee review. So if you're unfamiliar with my vlogs, I'm trying to drink all of the Nespresso's and rank them. And I have a, I will put a link in the description below that shows all the ones I have tried so far and my rating of each one. Today, I am trying the Kahawa Yakango. Look at this design, how cool is that? Probably one of my favorite box designs. Let's give this a try. Again, this is the Kahawa Yakango. It's pretty good. This is a great coffee for donuts. Coffee snobs, don't get offended by that. <laughs> but I could see myself with a nice glazed donut and a cup of this. That's good, not super bitter. I like this, like, like I've said before, when it comes to the coffee, my, my rating scale tends to lean more towards stronger coffees because I'm looking to drink a cup of coffee and just like get energized and go out for a run. So this one isn't like the strongest in the world, but it tastes pretty good. So I'm gonna give this a B plus. That'll wrap up today. I will run tomorrow. I'm gonna do a long run Saturday morning. Pretty excited about that, but it's time to head inside because it is freezing outside. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is April 8th and I am on my way on a 12 mile run. So pretty excited about that. Like I mentioned in my last vlog, I'm sort of training for kind of a little secret personal project, which I'll talk more about in a future video, but 
trying to get some mileage in, trying to extend my endurance a little bit for an undisclosed reason for now. I started running at 6.30 and it's light out. I didn't need a headlamp. So the long gloomy winter is finally coming to a close. So I'm very excited about that. As an aside, I love the orange old school street lights right here for two reasons. One, the new LED ones, yes, I get their energy efficient, blah, 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 but it's a lot of blue light and they're just like super abrasive. Like they confuse birds, they ruin people's circadian rhythm and sleep patterns. Two, they remind me of the streets of Paris at night because Paris has those sort of orange, I think they're halogen bulbs. Those are great memories. So I don't know, just a nice little reminder. I like seeing those. They're getting more and more rare. So I hope they can come up with like a, orange LED style of a light because I just don't like those new ones. All right, it is another sunrise session. I am taking a second to enjoy this. So take a deep breath, relax, think about what you're thankful for, say a quick prayer, enjoy a little bit of Saturday morning sunrise. I know it's a COVID thing, but non-functioning water fountains, I don't know, come on. Let's get these working, people. All right, halfway, feeling good. Six miles down, six to go. Heart rate's a little high right now, but we'll relax. Time for the second half of my energy chews that I did not finish when I reviewed the Honey Stinger energy chew. So check that video out on my channel now. Ooh. They're kind of good cold, real chewy. All right, nine miles down, I feel great. Honestly, I feel really good getting in the zone. About three miles to go, my heart rate's a little high, but otherwise, great run so far. So I'm going way too fast, and I 100% blame this new NF album that I'm listening to. It goes way too hard, way too hard for an easy run. I do not recommend it unless you are trying to tear the roof off of your pace, which I am currently doing despite the fact that I know I shouldn't, but I'm gonna give in to that. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here. A little bit to go, but awesome run. I feel so good. Man, I needed this run. Oh man, don't judge my technique. Cheese. Cheese. Top. Other one. Right on top. Get all the get all the yolk. Get yoked. Top pop. Cheers. Alright. Bone apple tea. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this week's vlog. It is Tuesday, it's 75 degrees outside. The sun is out at like, I don't know, it's gotta be like 7.30 p.m. right now. So a lot of great things going on. Thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, really appreciate that. Excited about some things I have coming up for the next few videos. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss those. But yeah, gonna wrap it up. A great week of running. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my runs. Um, but yeah, that'll be today's video. Thank you for watching, subscribing if you haven't already, and we will see you soon.